Hi friends, so I just wanted to share with you a little bit of the progress on the move. So this, we are two weeks countdown to uh, move day. Actually, it is like two weeks and two days from our moving day. And we've been working really hard to get all of our things packed up. And I wanna show you what that looks like. So um, this is, we are very lucky to, that my husband has an empty office in his, at his workplace of work and we've commandeered it for storage and this just saves us a little bit of money so if you have a way to do this i would suggest doing it because it's been pretty good we have um, temperature controlled storage and it costs us absolutely nothing i wanted to show you what it looks like so this is an empty office and this is probably half um well it's more than half it's probably like three quarters of our closet, little tiny belongings, throw pillows, blankets, garage things, toys, and stuff like that. Now our clothes are not here and our furniture is not here. So we still have a lot of big items left to move, get rid of our store, but just wanted to give you a quick look at what nearly 3,700 square feet of stuff looks like or what we've pared down. This is one office, so I think we've done pretty well. So I wanted to just brag a little and show you the progress. There it is, and I'll keep you posted uh, when there's more. Here are my uh, best tips for moving and storing things the most efficiently. First of all, get the same size totes and or boxes or at least as many as you can because that will just make you able to stack things more efficiently in your storage unit. If everything's in the same size tote, they'll stack perfectly and you won't have any wasted or empty space. So that's my first tip for your storage totes. The second tip, and and many of these tips may be, they may seem obvious or maybe not. So bear with me just in case there are things that you didn't think of. The next thing is make sure that you put the heaviest things in the smallest boxes. And that's because it's it seems nice to have a really big box, but once you get it loaded down, sometimes it's really, uh, it's really hard to lift it and it's not safe either. So it's not safe for your body when you're trying to move it and it's not safe for your things when you're stacking up boxes. So make sure you put all your heavy things in small boxes. The next thing is make sure you label everything. Even if you even if you feel like it's over the top when you're putting stuff in boxes, you think you'll remember what you put where and you just don't. Because moving is so stressful and there's so much stuff to do and it takes so many weeks. By the time you've got everything in storage, you literally have no idea what's in any box. Even if it just says kitchen, you don't know which one has your salt and pepper and you really need that to get you through the first week or so of your new move. So make sure you label Label the boxes so that when you go through and you do get your kitchen boxes or whatever it is, you know exactly what's in there so you get, can get the ones, or you can have access to the ones that you need immediately. Um, this might go without saying too, but make sure you label everything as fragile that is fragile because people will mishandle your things or they might overlift something that they shouldn't or not have help with something that they shouldn't if it's a fragile box. So make sure you label it as fragile too, if it is just to, just as an extra, you know, kind of uh, security that people will be a little bit more delicate with your things, especially if you have help. And, um, on that note, um, understand that things will get broken. Nobody wants their things to get broken, but every time there's a move, no matter how well you pack things, no matter how well you label things, things get broken. We had a, a few fatalities with some um, of our 
special Christmas ornaments and things like that that are a little bit more delicate. And I didn't have them really packed for a move uh, prior to them going to storage. So understand that things will get broken, be okay with it. Everything is replaceable except humans and try to keep that in perspective when you're moving things. Um, the other thing is that I thought was a good tip that I did was I'm going to share with you a hack that I did film and it's it's coming up probably within the next week or so that shows how I packed my clothes, which I thought was a brilliant hack. The last time I moved, I didn't have as many things. And so I bought those big uh, wardrobe boxes with the metal bar and those are great. They allow you to keep your things hanging, but they're really, really, uh, they're, they consume space. So even though they're nice and they keep your clothes hanging and in really good condition, I personally don't recommend those anymore because of the expense and the amount of storage space they take up. And that is valuable real estate when you're trying to pack a 3,700 square foot house into a smaller house. So if you're downsizing, those boxes aren't great, but what does work is the hack I will show you with making making your own wardrobe bags. And then I stacked all my clothes in empty suitcases. So the suitcases have to move anyways, and there was no better place to put the clothes than in the empty suitcases. So I took all of our empty suitcases, packed all of our clothes in them, on the hanger, in a wardrobe bag, folded them neatly, and it literally took me five minutes to put my clothes away when we got into the new house. So stay tuned for that hack. That's coming up. And the other thing is if you use paper or bubble wrap to wrap your delicate things, don't tape them. It's a hassle to untape them. Just fold the paper around them or wrap the paper around them or the bubble wrap around them and put them in your box. Don't worry about tape. It does nothing except for cause frustration when you're unmoving things. And then the last tip, which I think probably is the most valuable for most people is pack the things that you need first, last in your storage unit, and again, label it very well. So when you first move into a new house, the thing you need the most first is your bed and your bed sheets. So make sure when you pack that bed and you pack that bed sheets, you put it in your storage unit at a place where you can access it first because everything else can wait except for your bed. You need a place, a comfortable place to sleep. When you first move into a new house, everything else can wait except for that. So I really appreciate y'all watching and following along with this new uh, endeavor that we're doing, this downsize. And don't forget to check out my other channel, Add Decor Sauce, if you like DIY tips. I'm posting on both frequently, so I still have great content over there. And then I really appreciate your support on this channel. So if you would like, subscribe and hit the notification bell and make comments, make comments below. That really helps my engagement. And that way uh, I can get this mo channel monetized as well as my other one, because this is how I make my living, folks. So really appreciate all that. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you back here really soon.